met about two months after I joined the administration. And uh, I, I did a little research on him before I sat down with him. I found out he was a China scholar and, and um, read a lot about his background. It's very impressive. Um, but what really impressed me the most is, is he actually wanted to help us change this city. He said, Victor, I don't want to be an academic uh, that sits in your city and just teaches students and then those students leave and go and work in other places. I want to tie my people to your destiny. What are you guys doing? Where are you going? How can I get involved? And uh, when I sat down with the Thank dean, um, I basically presented him with a problem, which was we didn't have the $4 million to do the economic development strategy that some consulting firm, I'm not going to say their name, um, they got laughed at when they said that number to me. And uh, actually, the, the city administrator, we both laughed together. Um, we didn't have that kind of money. Um, but what we did is we had a desire to do the right thing. Um, and he helped me devise a strategy that involved three other business schools and 16 MBAs, and a lot of them in this room right now, um, to help really craft this, this, uh, this strategy. I'd like to take the opportunity um, to introduce our next speaker, um, uh, Dean Guthrie, who I consider um, not just a peer, but a, a dear friend. Um, I give you Dean Guthrie, Dean of the Business School of George Washington University. Um, as the Dean of the Business School at the George Washington University, I can say that in the, when I came here about a little over two years ago, I had a dream of really being a part of the kind of process that the Deputy Mayor was talking about, of building a business school that was not just deeply embedded in and engaged in social issues, but trained business leaders to use their business skills and acumen to become citizens of the world that we live in, to become citizens of this place. And more than that, to help elevate the business school and its citizenship and its real contribution to this, the world that we live in. Uh, so when the deputy mayor came to me and, and we started talking about this process, for me it was really the culmination or a next step forward in that dream. And the opportunity that, that stood before us to me uh, was so evident from the beginning. It was just a very, very exciting opportunity to really be a deep partner of be a part of this process of community and economic development uh, in the nation's capital. Arguably the, 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 the key place where decisions are the most important place of, of this entire uh, great nation. And so for me, the opportunity to be a part of that and to do that was just a, an opportunity I could not pass up and I just want to thank you all for let, allowing us to be a part of it. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do this without the close partnership with Dean Thomas as well, who has been a, a close friend throughout this, this process and also uh, was an invaluable part of what we were doing. Uh, and really kind of the, the key uh, intellectual force together with me on this process. Um, but there are so many people behind the scenes that actually make something like this possible. And I just want to mention a couple. First and foremost are the students. Without students, you, 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 uh, some of you are in the audience today. Can you raise your hands, those of you who are here? Uh, we just we wouldn't have been able to do this. It was just such a valuable experience to watch them uh, see what happened. Um, in addition, Barry Miller, who's in the audience today, uh, who basically oversaw that entire process, was just a wonderful contributor. Uh, but there are other people that are behind the scenes that you just you don't see in the final product like this. There's our creative director, Christine Patton, who worked tirelessly over this process and just brought you the beautiful document that's in front of you. Uh, our main writer, Sarah Kellogg, who helped us, and so many other people that I just can't take the time to mention. But most of all, I want to also thank the 185 people who were the stakeholders that we interviewed for this process, giving us your time, your insight, and your enthusiasm uh, for really helping push this, this this city forward was such a great inspiration for me. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Thank you, everybody, for what uh, what you allowed us to participate in. And I'm going to pledge here today that, following on what the, the Deputy Mayor asks, that our partnership with the city only begins here. And we will help carry this forward as we move on. Thank you.